What up? I can't hear DC. Can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. I can hear you. Okay. DC, um, you can't hear you. Oh, I can hear your puppy. No, can't hear you. That's my puppy being a pain in the butt. It's so weird. I haven't seen I haven't seen my puppy now for like nine days, something like that. It's weird. Oh my goodness. I don't dare be around him. Mine's now on anxiety meds. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, what the hell's going on? I was having issues with my mic before. <laughs> That's why it took me a while to get in. Uh, what is up, everybody? Hey. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can hear you now. Great. Yep. Great. Oh, so you can hear Jen. You see. Okay. I think you should be able to hear me now. Yeah, we got um, you now. Great, yep. great, great. StreamYard's just being a little turd, and it's probably karma because we are going to be reviewing Ashley Molstad's podcast, and we're also going to be looking at her stories. Um, oh, please. I, yes. my, uh, my burner count's about to get blocked. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Jen I, is... I, I, had to, I had to go in and comment in the question box. I had to. And you guys will see why later. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, I, boy. I love you. She, she's, she is rough today. It is, yeah. it is rough. Yeah. Um, it's, it's sad at this point. Yeah. We, and again, I didn't make the connection that she was having a hard time about being left out of the trip for Labor Day until y'all brought that up. And then all of it made so much more sense. But if anybody in the live chat doesn't know what we're talking about, we are going to fill you in. But before we do that, I'm DC. I'm an MLM dropout. I've never been in Beachbody, but I'm very invested at this point because of Amy, Jen, Amber, and Cheryl. Um, uh, Amy and Jen got to join today and this was was it Jen's idea to review Ashley's book? I'm sorry. I'm like so tired at this point. I was up all night with my yeah, I hope you're <laughs> feeling better. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, but uh, anyways, so I'm just here kind of like the dead weight, but I am just love you know, running my mouth on the internet and um, I have a lot to say about Ashley and I've learned so much about Beachbody from all of the ex-Beachbody coaches and it's been great so far. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass the microphone over to Amy and let her introduce herself. We are so happy that Amy is joining us. She's yes! a bionic. She's a bionic woman now. Um, yes. She is just, I think, came home from her physical therapy. She just had a knee replacement. Thank you, Beachbody. And mm -hmm. um, by thank you, Beachbody, we mean middle finger to Beachbody. So uh, I'm... Again, passing the mic to Amy and let her introduce herself. But I'm, like, so okay. happy to see you, Amy. <laughs> I am so happy to be here. My husband even got me all, like, set up. So I'm set up in my Aww. bed with, like, a lap desk and a ring light. Like, <laughs> pretty amazing. Oh, um, so amazing. So, and, and congrats, Mel, on getting blocked by Tanya. Um, I am I, still not blocked by her yet. I'm blocked from her on all of my accounts. I don't know what happens. Um Anyway, I was a Diamond Beach body coach, um, and like they said, I, in addition to being a beach body coach, I was also a beach body live instructor, hence the over exercising. And so last Tuesday, I had to have a total knee replacement. Um, but overall, I'm I'm doing pretty good. So, all right, I'm going to pass it to Jen. Are we Are we getting drugged up, Amy, right now? Um, the pills should be kicking in in like. 15 minutes. So Ooh, love to I see just it. did physical therapy and he killed me. So mm. it'll get easier. Um, hello, my name is Jen. Um, I am a former beach body coach. Well, one star diamond, almost qualified for two, and then I quit. Um, and I'm now a certified personal trainer. Yep, yeah, it it's amazing. I was about to plug Jen again, but then I was like, stop interrupting people on your own podcast. I'm <laughs> not a podcast, but our You stream, can plug so. me now because I'm actually taking on new people into my group to start on the 12th. So it's. Oh, sweet. Um, and hopefully people get signed up by Friday because I am going out of town this weekend. And I, unlike beach body coaches, try really hard not to work on the weekends. <laughs> Love it. Love to hear it. And, and, or if I'm on, out of town. Yeah, if you've ever been looking for a coach who has just a super healthy perspective about 
um, physical fitness and has a ton of certifications and a really healthy perspective about food and and um, and she doesn't you don't give nutrition advice because you're a team registered dietitian but what I, I, I'm I can give knowledge. I can give new general nutritional okay. advice I am yes. knowledgeable in general nutrition yep I do not prescribe meal plans I help you figure out what foods you like I help create meal ideas because that's I was in the restaurant industry forever and I just love coming up with ideas yep. but I do not tell you what to eat yeah, and that's, we love that. And she I, doesn't do you don't do scales either, correct? No. Like, yes. Yeah. So if you're looking for that, the kind of that coach um, who can work with you from anywhere, basically, um, and it's not it's not a money grab. She doesn't make you dependent upon her. She's really, from what I understand, about empowering her clients so that they can learn and really progress and do things on their own yeah, without yeah, having sure. to be attached to yeah. Jen for the rest of their um, lives. So and, it's been it's and really I'm, cool. Just throwing this out there, for, you know, I, I want it to be accessible to as many people as possible financially. Um, the group program is one fifty seven a month, but yep. it really is one on one coaching. So yep. tell you, on it. I, yep. you spend a lot of time with me one on one, um, and I picked one fifty seven because that's how much it costs for customers to buy Shakeology for a month. Love it. Love it. Give up your Shakeology and get Jen. It's a much better deal. And you, and you don't. Know. There's no required supplements for you to buy. <laughs> yes, we love it. We love it. We love it. And so today we are going to be reviewing Ashley Molstad's podcast. You can sip with us. This is the public one. So this is a public live stream. And um, yeah, I'm excited to hear what Jen and Amy have to say. So a little bit of the backstory. Labor Day weekend. Um, Autumn Calabrese is a Beachbody super trainer and some Beachbody coaches went out of town on a trip. And one of the coaches who went with Autumn is Emily Favre. Emily Favre is on Ashley Molstad's downline. However, Ashley Molstad was not included in this trip. And we saw kind of a meltdown happen. I have it live on my Instagram. I, I looked at it um, where she was like trying to explain all of these oversharing. She was crying, which I'm a crier. I get it. But it was a lot of like, what is going on? And then Amy, Jen, Cheryl, um, and Amber put the pieces together that she felt left out, I think, from getting to go on this Labor Day trip. And then she podcasted about it 36 hours ago, and we're about to listen to it. Now, do we want to watch the stories first, Amy, or do you want to listen to the podcast first? I would say let's do the podcast first, and then we can go into her her stories and yeah. part of and part of how we like put all of this together is Ashley also had a meltdown when they went to Bora Bora on the top 10 trip because yeah. Ashley was not being included in things mm. and she was yeah. really upset, especially at Emily because Emily was supposed to be a friend in her downline and so it's this whole mess and I think this trip was even more so because she's supposed to be friends with Letitia too. Yeah. Yep. So, um, so they went to Tanya's house on Tanya's invite oh, supposedly, Tanya. but no, they, they no. didn't go to Tanya's house. They went, they rented a cabin in Oklahoma. Okay. Autumn went to Tanya's house first and then they drove up there. Okay. Emily flew on her plane. <laughs> the interesting thing too, though, is it seemed as if they just spent all weekend creating content. Yep. Like, and exploiting a three-year-old. Exploiting the three-year-old. She was in oh. everything. She did cooking with Autumn. She did like everything. They're exploiting <clears throat> the three-year-old to no end. That story where she was sitting on the counter next to Autumn while Autumn was frying and cooking food. I'm like, that is not safe. Yeah. Just so you can go over colors and talk about vegetables with her. And the look on her face, that child's face was like, I hate you. What are you doing to me? Yeah. Yep. I don't want to do this. And yep. they make her do it. It's, that's a whole nother live stream. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is. Vicky, it wouldn't surprise me if it is a vacation house because most um, of them are more than So them. where they go, in a, it's called Broken Bow. And there's a whole bunch of vacation rentals there. Um, like it is a vacation rental town. There's a lake. There's a. So I actually looked into it because I was curious. Um, and it looks like a fun place, but there's a bunch of different, it's like a big area for Airbnbs. Yeah. In VRBO. So, yep. 
Um, they don't own that house. It's just like if you go vacation somewhere with an Airbnb. Okay. Cool. Um, Oklahoma, because it was in dri within driving distance from Texas. Yeah. Yep. Now, I will say I have listened to the podcast. So I oh, have been sweet. Having, I've been having a hard time sleeping. And so I was like, oh, sweet. It's a new day. My podcast should update. And I don't know when I subscribed to her podcast, but I did. And her showed up. So I listened to it at like 2 a.m. Mm. So well, let's, I, see you, let's see if you pick up on stuff that you didn't hear right. when you listened to it at 2 a.m. Awesome. Sure so I'm going to go ahead. I have our little radio over here. I'm just going to play it through my system. And it, oh, we'll make sure y'all can hear it just because it's not super fun to have just a blank screen because there's no video. So, um, let me go ahead and can y'all hear that? Real hot, real hot, right now. What's your favorite alcoholic beverage? If you love being in a girl group, this is totally for you. Some people can call us overwhelming. Yeah. Love it or leave it, we don't care. No, but we want you here. Yeah. She so folded in the Welcome intro. Yep. To you. you can sit with, with us. I'm a little nervous recording right now. Because, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, a little gun shy. A little gun shy. Well, I'm a little gun shy. Mm -hmm. So on Patreon last week, we, we have that uh, one recorded too. what we thought was like a perfectly normal episode. No changes to sound equipment. A couple of weeks ago on Patreon, I tried a headset, and then I was like, I don't right. like this. It wasn't as good of sound, but it wasn't bad, right? Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. then it was mm -hmm. back to normal. And then I woke up this morning and I love waking up to comments on the Patreon episode because oh, I read every single yeah. one and they hit. I read every single one, but I never respond to any. Are you freaking kidding me? You know how I know I'm in the Patreon. You never respond to any of them. Neither of them do. And they so, just delete the negative ones. Yep. Give me a break. Freaking heck. Their inbox. And I woke up this morning. I was like, oh, a flood of comments. Did we say something really funny or like whatever? And mm -hmm. I was up like 5 a.m., you know, feeding Ellie. And it was all like Colleen's audio's awful, terrible, bad, no good, echo, da da da. da. And I'm like, okay, back to bed. Like, I like, yeah. didn't want to deal almost, you know? Yeah. But then you're, because yeah. your head starts spinning of like, what was bad about it? Because I mean, I know it was bad about it. It was the quality was bad, but like we don't know why, you know. And so then today yeah, right. we're messaging with each other There's and chat. No it's bad because you're doing it on on Zoom, and and Zoom is 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 hit or miss. Sometimes it's incredible if you have good internet connection, and but ideally you record locally to your desktop just to make sure if there is if there is a connection issue, your audio can really mess up. So it it, it happens with Streamyard too. So. And her her little headset that she was doing, you can hear her, like it's so close to her mouth, you can hear her breathing, and so it it was it was screwed up on that end too. But it's fine. All right. That is Kara. People are hitting my personal hey, Michelle. inbox in my DMs, and I'm like, I About I got the sound? message. Yes, and I'm like, I got the message, you guys. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, and now I'm hope yeah. I'm hopeful that it doesn't happen again because nothing has changed with my setup. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Again, additionally, you can solve that problem by recording for two minutes, stopping, re-listening to it, so you don't. It, it's fine. It's a technical thing. I get it, but I mean, they make money off their podcast. They have people subscribing to it, so it it is a return on your investment to test it out for two minutes, listen to it, and see if you screwed up. Yep. So, I don't know. I'm sorry. So, yeah. fingers crossed here. <sighs> and some of the comments were a little intense. Like, a lot of, most of them, because Patreon is our, like, our ride or die. You know, they love oh. us. Oh. They give us a yeah. few passes. But there was, I don't remember, I felt like I was reading in, um, someone was, I, maybe it was from the last week or something. Someone was like, you know, this is unlistenable. It's like, that's not really true. I don't know. It's just. I mean, we can hear it. I mean, but is it pleasant to listen to? No, it's not. I mean, it's not. This is like yeah. this, you know, anger thing. I mean, maybe respond to some of your comments. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, could you imagine having thousands of people pay $5 a month for your for every month and you never respond to one comment ever? Well, and it, it's kind of the same thing whenever we comment anything to any of these coaches 
that they perceive as negative or bullying, they won't address anything. No, they delete and block. <laughs> they delete and block. And so it's like, but there is a lot of benefit. <clears throat> to saying, Thank you for the feedback. Like, yeah, you're not saying what you're doing with it, but at least acknowledge the feedback. Yeah. Or it's an easy as, hey, thanks so much for letting us know. We're not sure what happened. We're going to get you a new episode up ASAP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Or like the technical trolls got to us. Well, you know, you can make it laugh. You can make it lighthearted. And and then we're just being on a platform here ragging on them because, you know, they left you well, feedback. But there's so many options. So like one of the podcasts, I follow Maintenance Phase. Love that one. Oh, my gosh. It's the best. And they were supposed to come out with a new episode yesterday. They're running behind. So they pulled one from Patreon and put it up to say, hey, guys, we're sorry that we're not on the schedule that we promised. So we're putting this up for you. Oh, I mean, it's things like that that drive the loyalty. Yep. I am waiting for a maintenance phase beach body podcast. Oh, my gosh. They would on be autumn. They would be my favorite. Or Alana. Oh, God. Shoo. Her story or post today made me so mad. Anyway. Oh, uh, man. Veggies will cure yeah. everything. Yeah. Great. Yeah, you guys have <laughs> to send me your Twitch. stuff because I'm blocked on all of my accounts from her because she didn't like what I had to say, even though she was said she was willing to have a conversation with me. And I have the screenshots and the DMs. And then I get blocked. It's like, um, yep. no, you're not. <laughs> yep. Yep. I don't love it. I don't love it. The, yeah. So, you know, just a chippy, chippy, starting the day off with a chip and it's like, hey, Patreon, we love you. We will take care of oh, you. Oh, God. I promise. We love you. All the time. We'll Do take you care of you. In fact, we gave you a bonus but, episode because uh, we hear your feedback and we like your feedback. We felt bad. Felt real bad. Yeah. So here we are. Yeah. Are you, so I poured, so to calm my nerves, I poured myself a big old beer. Yeah. In the morning. Are you nervous? Oh, because of your because of the sound? Because my sound. Because I didn't think anything oh, was well. awry, and then I was surprised by it being awry. So I'm just hopeful this time. But I poured. I'll tell you what I'm sipping. Oh, never mind. Hang on, a uh, a beer. And it's a very good one. It's oh, she's barrel drinking again. it now. I get it. I get uh, it. I get their it. Mandarin IPA. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah. There's Deschutes has one called Fresh Squeezed, and that has been a favorite of ours well, used to be one of my favorites and is still John's like those citrusy IPAs. Yeah. Yummy. Really good. Are you very, enjoying very it? Very, very good. Yeah, I am. Great. Okay. I noticed that you have also what looks to be a, a, a very nice drink with a rim on top. It looks very fallish. What are you doing? Oh there? yeah. It's a um, tequila water, tequila mm -hmm. soda with um, Shocker. So I rimmed it. I didn't have like lime juice, but I wanted it spicy. So I dipped my, I put maple syrup on the plate in place of agave. I don't have agave. So I like did that. And then I dipped it in, I brought excess in, but I've talked about these before. The um, Fresh Origins Mini Herb Crystals yeah. Habanero. So then that's what yes. it is, but it's orange. I didn't even realize it does look folly. It's, 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 it's perfect. Uh, I guess it's fine. But the problem is the um, maple syrup is very liquidy. It's not thick like agave oh, or whatever. Why don't you just so cook it down? It's dripped all down the glass and is all over my desk now, which is, you know, exciting. Forget so it. yes, I did adventure exciting. over here. But Forget I also, um, I woke up to some, some, uh, uh what? Is this what did you wake up to? Me? Yep. What? Um, Ashley, what'd you wake up to? We want to know. Hmm. Something oh. I saw that really affected me, that triggered me. Oh my and God. so I have been in a funk all day and I took oh. a edible of, it's a 25, no, 20 milligram CBD, one milligram THC edible. And I took three quarters of it. Cause I'm, I was afraid of like, like CBD doesn't have psychoactive effects, but THC does. And, and there's it's THC. only one okay, milligram, which it. normally I wouldn't feel, but pay, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. So I took three quarters of it and I feel a li mostly what I feel is like brain fog. Yeah, I feel like my arms yeah. are a little like it's even like more a little than looser, normal. But it, what it's not giving me the effect I wanted, which is like a chilled out vibe. I sort of feel heavy. Like so, my, he to add tequila to it to see if that yeah. helps to feel that vibe. 
It's a <laughs> it's a winning combo, Amy. Oh it's a winning God. combo. This is, she needs help. She really does. Uh, well, and they film they they do these in like the middle of the afternoon, don't they? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. 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 Uh, Cheryl, I mean, we miss you so much. <laughs> uh, Ashley has some definitely special talents. Yeah, I, I again. I'm gonna it, take an edible. It's gonna make me feel brain fog and heavy. So let me just add alcohol on top of that, which is also a damner. Yeah, so you're mm. gonna feel really bad. You're gonna feel really bad. Cheryl's all about it. Look at those those wine glasses <laughs> clinking. <Yep. in> <laughs> Cheryl, are you on a work break right now? <laughs> It's on board. Yeah. It's in the system. You know, I took it before I showered. So that were I was an hour ago. But it, I we don't feel talked about effects, but... we haven't talked about what it is you saw, but are you okay? <gasps> or what yes, happened? I am okay. Yeah. Um, it was just something that I saw <laughs> that it's fascinating. You know, I talked about it at length on my Instagram stories this morning. Um the brain. Oh so my God. I see something. Mm. It makes me feel a certain way. I start crying as I like, you know, I don't immediately start crying, but within five minutes, my brain starts going wild and making this thing that I saw mean all of these things. And so then I start crying. John's taking the kids to school. He gets home. He st he's like walking in the hallway. And I was like, you know, whatever. I don't know. I was looking down. He looked up and he just froze. He just saw me. Like he didn't even, <laughs> he was panicked. The sheer terror on his face. Cause I was fine when he left. Um, but then I was just like, you know, told him what happened. And I was like, is that what you would think? Like if you were in my shoes, is that the conclusion that you would draw? And he's like, no, well, no. He's like, I mean, I, get it and you know I, I think it's weird that that happened but I don't then because what happens is I see something and then the conclusion I draw is um People very like frequently you. this is the thing right when I feel like I'm excluded or here's how that conversation went the guy her husband was probably like holy crap I'm not gonna I'm not gonna set a bomb off in this situation I understand how you feel I care about you but I would not have drawn the same conclusion why wouldn't you have well because they probably just wanted to hang out with their friends and the world does not revolve around you, Ashley. That's literally the simplest thing. And I, oh well, and what doesn't make sense to me is there's a lot of times that even like within a group of friends that some friends go and do something without the other friends. It's not a big deal. It doesn't need to be a big deal. Yep. <clears throat> and and also, it's not like they've been, been on like vacations or stuff together since everything happened in Bora Bora. I don't know if they even talk that much because they don't see they, I think they barely even talked when they were at Summit. Yeah. yeah. One picture. Like, why why yeah. would why would you assume that they should invite you? Yeah, because she's she she does not like being like not the top dog. She wants mm -hmm. to be the person that is pursued in every single group and Oh yeah. I think she's still struggling because she said before she was not excited when other people win mm -hmm. when like Ashley was doing not Ashley when Emily was doing better than her in the fact that her downline Emily that she that Ashley used to outperform it was being invited by Autumn and in all these other people she just I think she's jealous and I yeah. think she got her feelings hurt even though again people can be friends with other people <laughs> God. Well, and, and you think too, I mean, I've had this conversation with people. So when I did human resources and someone said, you know, I just don't understand. I always have these issues everywhere I go. Mm. Okay. Well, if you have an issue at one job, that may be the job. Right. If you have that same issue, the next job, and then the next job, and then the next job, yep. you might want to look internal. So... <clears throat> Maybe why aren't they wanting to hang out with you? Like, yeah. It's time to do some yep. self-reflection. Yep. Man. Ooh, I don't want to press play. Or not thought about or something. Um, I draw the conclusion that if these people that I love and are supposed to love me don't want me around. <laughs> supposed to love you? It, then I, nobody likes me, right? Because these people are supposed to like me. Like, we have a relationship and a friendship. And if they don't like me, 
then the problem is me, right? That is where I go quickly. You got- the problem is you. Yeah. And again, something my I, I hate to bring my dad up all the time or my mom up all the time, but here's what they told me. If you're not pursuing people, one, relationships can change. And two, if you're not putting the work in, they they can change because you're not interacting maybe on a daily a, a daily situation or weekly or whatever and sometimes people grow apart so even though you still really like that person one you have to invest in it and two you're you're not controlling everybody it's not it's not you trying to say like oh i'm your friend so you have to invite me to everything yeah. no it's just it just it's just a situation and it's not personally targeted towards you one no, I- the, I think the other thing is the, <clears throat> this is your job. So like my, my philosophy is if you find friends at work, fantastic. If you don't, that's okay. You're there to do a job, yep. but because MLM just intertwines the two so much, it, this mm. is why it gets messy. Yep. Yep. You're right. You know, so they, they're not, why are they supposed to love you? Why are they supposed to love you? I don't know. I think she doesn't do anything for them financially. Uh-uh. Yeah. You know, we all know that the relationships within MLMs, within Beachbody, with Improve It, which it, they're all transactional. Uh-huh. Yeah. And if you're not bringing that monetary value to the French, they don't. They don't care. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh. Guys, no, this is like, this is no, nothing new. Um, but it's fascinating because that's not John's go to, right? So he's John like, if healthy. things like this are going on, that's not where I go. My brain doesn't go to, I am, um, no one wants me. And uh, uh, so I just think, you know, then I'm just like, but also it's a very realistic position to say those people who went on vacation together may not want you on vacation with them Mm -hmm. and that is that is a real like the reality of that has to be acknowledged and Mm -hmm. you can sit with that and even better sit with that in therapy with a licensed clinician Mm -hmm. you know so she uh the the morning of before they did this podcast when she went in her on her rants and i sent her a very kind message just look i'm like i'm sorry you're feeling this way but maybe instead of oversharing to your stories and social media, you find a therapist to work through with this. Yeah. Said so you've tried one before. You didn't like them because their house was a mess behind them on their Zoom call. I called her out for that. I said, but I really hope you get the help you need because just venting out onto social media is not going to help anything or fix well, it. And better help is one of their. their yeah. Activities. I mean, that's a start. Just so you guys know, better help sells your information. Right? They're not oh. fantastic. But start somewhere. Start with someone. You know? Yeah. And, 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 I, and I said, like, like from personal experience, it took me five different therapists to find one that it's actually dating. works. It's just like dating. It's yeah. like, you know, you're not going to find one. you got to work. You have to work at it. She doesn't like to work. Yeah. She does not yeah. want to have to do any work yeah if you're just joining us we are talking about this is ashley molstads and is it colleen is that Mm -hmm. her co-host it's their podcast it's public this is fair use this is our opinion um and we're we're specifically talking about the situation that led up to ashley creating this podcast and her feelings got hurt because she was not included on a labor day vacation with a super trainer and other beach body coaches who are all friends and all went out, you know, on a vacation and Ashley wasn't invited and she told all of the internet about it. So sitting in it and I am becoming curious about this because the other day I also heard something um, on Instagram and the example was with parenting. And it was like, do you ever feel like you have to say things over and over and over to your toddler And then they don't listen to you until you finally lose it and you yell at them. Here's why. Because if you ask them to put their shoes on and then they don't, and then you ask them to put their shoes on and they don't, and then you ask them to put their shoes on and they don't, and then you threaten something like, if you don't put your shoes on, we're not going to school today or something. But then you don't fall through with the threat 
right? Their mm. brain is absolutely blank slate. And if that happens in enough instances where you say something and the, like the threat is made, but it's not reinforced, their brain starts to make the connection of like, oh, I don't really have to do the things that I'm being asked to do. Because the yeah, they're figuring out what are right? the real boundaries. What are right. the real? They don't know anything what? about the Ooh, Amy. Okay, now <clears throat> they are a blank slate, <clears throat> and look at what you are imprinting on that slate. I'm losing my. I don't know what's going on with my voice, <clears throat> but, and I agree. There have been times. I have one child in particular that I do have to do something that will like snap her out of it. Yeah. Me too. But it doesn't have to be yelling at them or threatening them. Um, she knows that like, okay, well then fine. If you're going to yell and you're not going to listen to me, you have to do it in song. Mm. And I make them sing. She yes, makes her kids sing. It's fantastic. <laughs> you can fight all you want, but you have to do it like high school musical style. I've actually started using that with my boys. <laughs> oh my God. It is the funniest thing ever. And it diffuses an argument so fast. Their fighting has, you need to like do a something, like put out a PDF book or because they're fighting. I'm like, do you guys want to sing? And they'll go, no. And then they stop fighting. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. Amazing. and it's over stupid stuff too and they'll or they'll start uh, they'll just start laughing or it totally changes the dynamic you don't have to do that by yelling at your child but i i don't understand how she i, I, I mean, if you've listened to this already i'm trying in my head trying to figure out how she's trying to correlate trying to parent like a toddler to get their shoes on or like a little four or five year old to put their shoes on to her being left out of a trip. Yeah, There's I, no connection. Like No. Yeah, I, I, I don't get I know, it. I know where she's going with it. Um yeah, you'll, you'll like right now I right now I don't get it. Like this, I'm just um, um, and no, it doesn't it doesn't work with cats. I tried it with my cat and dog, it didn't go over well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grover Grover wasn't having it or no nope. Smokey was like Smokey was like, hell no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Girl, what's just lip service? Yeah, right. And they're not being manipulative. Like the, it, when the mm -mm. it was a parent account that showed that it really is like they are absolutely blank slates, learning how the world works, and they're yeah. piecing it together. Oh, this is the way the world works. Parents make a request, but I don't have to listen. It's not mm. like a big deal. Does this right? And and then they escalate and they they get annoyed. But that's that's just the way the world is, right? And so I'm pairing that with this trigger that came up for me today and um just thinking how it is so our own brains drawing these conclusions and we all have these stories right we all have like i think john's the opposite of me where mm -hmm. i over communicate i i do not nobody ever mm -hmm. is wondering how i'm feeling right i am like <laughs> okay. here it is uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, we don't wonder how you're feeling. I'm wondering if you're using your communication skills in the middle of a frustrating or potentially stressful thing. A example being when she um, was told to go to the room to meet Emily and whoever answered the phone said, oh, we're almost done. We'll meet you or whatever. She could have at that point said, hey, you know what? Emily was the one who told me to go to the room. I think I can still make it there in time. Can you just give me the room number? All of a sudden, all of that's changed mm -hmm. to, you know, and I don't know, instead of letting it build up and then oversharing with everybody except the person maybe that you have the issue with. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering. I'm, I'm just again, I'm curious too, Ashley. Uh um, whereas John, his upbringing was very different than mine and his uh instinct when it comes to needs and things like that or his feelings being hurt is to hold it and i think that that's a lot of people right um there's also stories that people have like just that they're not good enough or i was talking today with some people who are like yeah i always thought i was too quiet like no one likes me because i'm too quiet right and so then i started thinking mm -hmm. about probably at some point when you were little you saw the loud people getting attention from those that you wanted mm -hmm. to the teachers, the family, friend, right? The loud people are getting attention. So your brain starts to think, hmm, so they, are loud people more likable, right? The, right? And it starts asking that question. And then you start seeing that that happens. You She's start talking right, about herself right now. 
Yeah, she is. And again, she makes these she broad, left. she makes these huge, broad uh, um, generalizations of, from her own experience to try to say, like, this is how it is for everyone. When there's a very small sliver of, okay, if a kid gets acknowledgement from their parent when they're good at sports in that one specific situation, they probably want to do better if they like the attention that they receive. I mean, it, I'm not a clinician. I'm just saying you can't just and then say, oh, well, that's the rule for everybody in everything, in every situation. She's taken these concepts that are used in coaching and in therapy, and she she's trying to make herself sound smart, like she knows what she's, like, there's grains of truth in what she's saying. Yeah. But the way, but she just doesn't, she's, she's not qualified to be talking about this stuff. Yeah. Well, her, and- however much she paid for her life coaching course, no, this this is not... You're not qualified. Well, and I think that's what you don't know about it. It's one of the reasons that they're so big on personal development because you're getting all of these thoughts from all of these people all the time. And then you feel like, oh, I know what I'm talking about because I read a book. Yep. Yeah. No, you don't. Like, and and even because I'm I'm a life health coach. I'm certified. I'm not going to do that because it it's it borders too close to therapy. Yep. Yeah. And I'm not qualified to help someone through that. It helped me through my own stuff, but she borders too much on going into a therapy session or into registered dietitian area. Like yep. she, she doesn't see the line. Yep. So and there's, I-, I use motivational interviewing when I work with people and coach people through it. I don't, I ask questions and most of the, it's just questions. And a lot of the times they'll come up, everybody comes up with their action. They already know their answer, what they want to do. But there's also times where it's like, there's something so like, I can't handle this is out of my scope. You need to go see a therapist. <laughs> it's like, yeah. go, yep. you need to go see a physical therapist. You need to go see an orthopedic. You need to go see a counselor. You need to go to psychiatrist. Like, please go see another professional. Yeah, she, you know, she thinks she can do everything, and it's like, no. Yeah, and again, like, uh, there there is something to be that that is dangerous. If she was working in that paid position for that Fortune 500 company, being that life coach, if you're dealing with healthy people and the healthy people can make jumps themselves, but you're the one that's talking to them, you think that you were somewhat successful in coaching them or encouraging them when maybe a lot of it had to do with the other person. So you've developed this sense of like um, confidence that your advice or the way you interpret things is actually good. And the danger is when you actually go from what I understand, when you actually go through school to be a licensed clinician, you understand things in like not just a one-on-one in the broad term of how things actually work so that you're not making these assumptions that don't actually pan out under scientific testing. And so that's, again, I think that's the danger part that she was in that position for how many years. And so she's, I don't made all these assumptions that she knows all this stuff. And that's not. Well, and I like what what Harper is saying, you know, if if you are the one who is quiet, people listen to you more. Yep. Because like we, there's no question at all of how Ashley feels, what she's doing. She's so loud but it often also seems like she's just a stream of consciousness. Mm. And so when someone is quiet and you feel like, no, they have, they have something important to say. If they're, if they are talking, it is important. And I should yeah. listen. Mm. Yep. 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 Whatever you tell it to look for. And so then with that thought goes unchecked, I think that is where it could become something like, I'm not likable because I don't talk enough. Whereas all that happened was this loud person when you were a kid was getting the attention that you kind of wanted. And then your brain ran wild with it and found all kinds of evidence that extroverted people are the ones that people like more, or they're more successful or whatever, which then makes something wrong with you. Even though there's nothing ever wrong with you, it's just that was the conclusion your brain drew and then it's gone unchecked, right? So it's just really fascinating like to see that this is this is deep trauma for me. It's the same stuff that came up in Bora Bora, right? That I've been working through. And um, it's deep, deep trauma for me. And I do, I, I think I want to go to EMDR therapy, which is that 
something that they do where they, like they try to get the left side and the right side yeah. of your brain speaking to each other and like that's something. <laughs> something. I want to go do this, but I don't know what it is. Mm. Clearing the trauma. I don't know because I, don't know. I can't think okay. of an event that would cause me to feel this way, but it is like innate and it's deep in me and it is optional. It doesn't feel optional to me, but when I talk to people like John, and that is not his reaction, it lets me know there are multiple ways to react to this, multiple conclusions to draw from this thing. And it okay. doesn't have to mean Fair. that nobody likes you and you're a piece of shit, right? Like there's lots of other options here. Yeah. And I, I like that she acknowledges that, but again, it's so multifaceted. There's habits that you have been responding the same way to situations you have to overcome. There's also perspective about how you see things. I think there's probably trauma. I'm not saying there's not. I'm not a clinician. It's so multifaceted that it's like, please, uh, again, she still talks it through and then she gets encouragement from social media, from people messaging her saying, this was incredible. So then it's like, well, I don't need therapy. I just said it and people received it and now I feel good again. I hope yeah. she goes to therapy. I... I hope she does. I do too. And like Avery said, I think there really is a lot more to this. Yes. There's so much more going on. And and keeping in mind, like she is going through selling a house, buying a house, no. all, all of maybe, right? If yeah. she can sell theirs. If she could sell her house. All of these different things. She has a lot of stressors in her life, but she only, she crafts and curates what she wants you to see. Yep. And you're not seeing everything else behind that. And yeah. But at, at the same time, she has overshared mm -hmm. her childhood traumas with her mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And her parents and how she's grown up and how her sisters were different. Those horrible. Like, so she shared everything. I don't think she holds back as much as like maybe like 25%, 20%. But for, mo for the most part, she puts it all out there. And like even in her post to take, I'm just her post. She actually put a feed post up. Oh, she made a commitment to do one every day in September. And so far she's only done two. <laughs> um, it's day seven of September. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's like you, she's shared everything. Mm. Well, and, and that's a good point, Harper. One of the things, yeah. And one of the things that I talk to my kids about is, you know, there are, really three sides to every story, my version, your version, and then what yep. actually happened. Mm -hmm. Yep. But I, I don't know if Ashley would be open to hearing some of those other versions. Yeah. I, yep. She'll listen. But then as soon as you're on, she puts it out of her. Head. Because she thinks yep. she knows so much more than anyone yeah. else. Yeah. yeah. Why so go to like, therapy and lie to placate to other people around you? Yes. Mm -hmm. And some people truly they try to play every single person in front of them. There's some personality like disorders that some people mm -hmm. have where it, it's an interesting, like where mm -hmm. you have to have two psychologists to diagnose someone because the person in the room with the person will come up with one assumption. And then the person observing the psychologist and the, the client will say, okay, you got you got played. So there's lots of things that come. It's not just straight up like, I'm going to be deceptive so that nobody can help me. It's, again, it's so complicated. There's I, so many different I, inputs. This past year have actually just personally experienced that with a former family member. Mm. I say former because it's a married into the family now no longer by see you we don't want anything to do with you mm. um so i watched that happen over the last almost year in real time and it was fascinating mm. yeah to, fascinating yeah it's why it's wild to to see and so that's i just think it's really fascinating to get curious with your brain um and start observing some of these things like is that serving me anymore? Right. And yeah. it's not. Um, but before I would have these thoughts and I had no awareness that thoughts were optional or where thoughts came from. Right. It was just like, this is the world. This is the way the world works. Oh. And that's the other thing is what happened this morning. I would never, ever do to someone that I loved. And so, and if I were doing that to someone that I loved, I would Ooh. be doing it from a place of, I don't actually want them around. I don't. 
So she's again j- passing judgment on the group of people who went off to have vacation. I wouldn't do that to someone I loved. Well, I can love people and not want a vacation with them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I could say like, hey, we're going to go on vacation and I know that you don't enjoy hiking. So we're going to go hike or, or I don't know. And they, they were just at a house. Like I, I get that. But it's still again, she's also bringing up something that's a little bit uh, concerning talking about thoughts being optional i understand it's more complex than that but if you get into this thought stopping arena where i think she is making some leaps to get there i would be concerned about that because some you know it's again a therapist needs to to talk to her but i'm just like i'm that that's like oh maybe red flag maybe red flag it's like Uh, there's there's something that you you can do when you're coaching people and amy you probably learned this is the reframe mm -hmm. And sometimes you have to, you question, they're just thoughts. Why am I having a son? But it's a process. And she uses it for everything. <laughs> and it doesn't, it doesn't have to be for everything. I mean, and, and it can be, you know, like, okay, she, she could have said if she wanted to talk to herself in her head, okay, all of my friends are on vacation without me. I think it's because of this. What is that true? what like i mean you just have to start asking your yourself questions but the fact that she projects her own feelings and her own thoughts that that's what everyone else is thinking yeah yeah no yep. it's not yep I don't really like them right so that is why i'm drawing that conclusion but that is not the intention of everyone so i just think it's really cool if as these things come up and trigger you to feel a certain way if you don't like the way that that's you're feeling, get curious about it. And, you know, I kept asking myself, fair, like, fair, fair. how can I absolutely know this is true? And I can't, mm. right? I can know that actually it's not true because I, pro- I, I'm sure if I told you what happened, you would sympathize and you'd be like, oh, okay, I could see that. But I don't think you would draw the same conclusion I did that nobody likes mm. you, right? No one wants you around because you have a different upbringing and story, right? It's like, well, maybe, it's maybe just, not. Maybe I, it's not yeah. knowing what it is, it's um, maybe it is hurtful, you know, and it like, yes, you're feeling. I think she's 38 or 30, 39 or 30. Yeah. No, 40. I don't know. I, I yeah, she, I, she's somewhere in her 30s. Um, I don't know. And Ashley is bringing up something about whether something is true or not. Regardless of something is true, you can it's something can be true and it can also hurt your feelings. So you can also sit with this idea that, wow, they love me. They didn't want me to go on vacation with them. And that really hurts my feelings. Mm-hmm. Yep. And is that and is my feelings being hurt their burden to, to bear? I don't I personally don't think so. No. She doesn't seem to be able to move past those uncomfortable feelings without sharing her hurt with the people she feels are responsible for those hurt feelings. And that is, that's the, maybe the unhealthy part that I see as just a bystander of like, what the hell's going on? Well, and the problem is, is that they are all social media figures. Yep. So then she shares something like this and it blows it. Yeah. Uh, she just shared it with hundreds of thousands of people who also know this other person. And so she makes these these things much, much bigger than they need to be mm. by just blasting it. Yep. 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 You're right. Things and you're feeling it and that's and getting curious. And I like I um I'm amazed by you. And like instead of just sitting Same. in it, and it's good to sit in it, you're also questioning yeah. it and challenging it and exploring it, which is brave because it's not fun necessarily I mean, when it's sharp and raw and fresh. And so it's healthy, Mm -hmm. healthy processing, healthy. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not healthy to talk about a situation that's easily identifiable with hundreds of thousands of people to make yourself feel better when you have not communicated that to the people, but potentially in the group. And even if you have to to, again, still decide to share it to hurt them. That's that's not healthy. No. Colleen seems to know how to talk to her to like make Ashley feel good, but it's also like enabling her to continue doing this. It's in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. It is vindictive and it's retaliatory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. You I hurt mean, me, so I'm gonna hurt you. Yeah, and at some point it's like, no, just 
if you if you think they love you or you have this relationship, reach out to them. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Th that's what, like, I'm trying to teach my kids. If someone says something to you or calls you a name, if you stop and you say, hey, you just said this, this is what I heard. And this is what that made me think. Am I right? Yep. But that's hard. It's hard to have that potential confrontation. Yep. yep. And then, and also to keep it private afterwards instead yeah. of saying, because yeah. I'm betting Ashley doesn't like the answer if she even has those kind of conversations. And then she does a public thing where she pre presents herself as the victim. Mm -hmm. She said on her private podcast on Patreon, I wanted to, like, I felt better that Emily was feeling upset about the situation too. Like I felt better that she, yeah. um, that this situation made her feel bad. And I'm like, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. You really care about something? And you're happy that they're in pain, that they're in turmoil too? No, no. no. Oh. Yeah. I mean, the amount of times I've thought that I wish I didn't have this awareness and consciousness, it is a lot easier to just play the victim and be like, you guys did something wrong. That was really hurtful. Fuck off. Not my problem. Right? Apologies for the language. Um, it's a lot easier to, to say the problem is out there than to do the work internally. Uh, but then that's she how the problem. She doesn't do the work internally. She does it externally <laughs> and blasts it. And, and still so, plays the victim. Still plays yeah. the victim. Like, wait, did you, are you hearing yourself? Yeah. No, and that's the, that's the thing with, I think with all of, you know, the beach body coaches, when we point things out to them, it's like, yo, double speak. Yeah. You said this and this. Do you listen to yourself and how you're speaking? And they don't want to listen. So that's why they go, we're blocking you. Yeah. Because <laughs> they don't want, they don't. No. They don't want to confront that their their values don't line up with what they are saying. No. Or they're trying to present themselves as having these values that they don't actually have. Yeah. Yep. Which is yep. why Kat has blocked everybody yep. <laughs> this last weekend, which we need to do an episode on her. Oh, yes. still, I still yep. haven't been blocked from her. I guess being like totally medicated and out for a week. I wasn't liking the post. You, you weren't paying attention to the posts and you weren't liking and interacting on our comments and you know. Yeah. All right, I'm back in the game, ladies. Let's do yeah. this. Yep. Um, Nicole, this is a podcast called You Can Sip With Us. And this episode on our channels is called Unfortunately, You Can Sip With Us because we are reacting to Ashley Moss. Okay, so have you guys seen any of the old ones that was video? And they also, it was, it was also with Raina Odell. Mm -mm. That's got to be like super cringe. And I might need to get drugged up for that because she is a horrible person. It's, it's bad. The, I mean, people would know her, the, like the video that is probably the most well known in the anti MLM sphere for being the worst team call ever was the one that Kiki Chanel did. Ah, yep. That was Arena. That was Arena's team. Oh, yeah. wow. Wow, wow, wow. So it, wow. On, honestly, at this part, like Ashley's, Ashley's podcast doesn't really go into a ton more than this. So we may want to flip over to her stories now. Okay. But it's like she, she got on, still don't know what happened. Like, you're, all these words are coming out. And I'm like, I can't come to any conclusion other than you're overreacting because you're not actually sharing what happened and what made you feel bad and what triggered you. Mm. Yep. You're going to come on a podcast like this and try and she's trying to get sympathy. Basically that's just, mm -hmm. she's, she's looking for sympathy. She's looking for attention. She's looking, Oh no, you're fine. You're fine. We love you. Um, but what happened? Yeah. There, uh, she's like with this, she's leaving out information. She's leaving out a big piece of it. Yep. It's like, yes. no, so here's the stories. Um, let me go ahead and I'm going to actually pop this into uh, Chrome so I can hide the um, hide the bar so it'll be bigger. One second. <coughs> All right. Mm, one second. 
open his pop up. Hopefully. Okay. Um, there we go. And then we're okay, so that move. first picture was pretty hilarious. Did you guys notice that? Well, I will I'll pull it back up. Let me see. Um, so that was <laughs> one of her like she just posted that text one today, and that was mm -hmm. one of her I think it's I don't know if it's a real or not. But can you guys you know, seven story? days into the month, she made a commitment to post <laughs> in her feed every day. Like this, she cannot stick through a commitment. The second one where it looks like she's peeing. Peeing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but like the yeah, and your goal is a professional businesswoman. That's who you want to appeal to. She doesn't yeah. want douchebags. Oh yeah, that would get douchebags. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see Cheryl's stories yesterday? She's not. She's working right now. Oh. She posted Ashley talking about the, you know, come join us, but we don't want douchebags. And then she posted a yep. picture of Joel. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh so hard at that. I'm like, it's so true. Yep. Oh. Sorry, I'm trying to log in real quick. Oh man. Yeah, but she when she made a commitment when all this went down to post daily in her feed, and it's only she's only done it twice now. She made a commitment to not drink at home. She's drinking a tequila and club soda at home while she is while she recorded the podcast. She made some other commitments, but like those were the two that stuck out. She cannot stick to a commitment. I at all. would make a commitment to just drink at home so that she would quit driving with her babies when she's drinking. Oh my God. So maybe you should maybe she should switch that one around. Just drink when you're at home. I uh, know. But I know leading up leading up to this podcast and so they went to <laughs> I almost went to the baseball game that they were at. <laughs> <sighs> I've like come this close to her many times and I'm like, I just can't, I can't, I can't. Mm. Um, she drank the baseball game. She drank at her aunt and uncle's. She drank at home. She drank like you made a commitment the day before not to drink. She has yeah. an alcohol problem, mm. in my opinion. And as someone who has family members who have been in AA and gone to rehab, she has a problem. Mm -hmm. It's not hormones. No. <laughs> it's the alcohol. It's so concerning. And, and they, they eat out for, it seems like they eat out most meals. And yeah, one of her favorite places to go sucks. I'm just putting that out there. Her yeah, favorite like, place. Yeah. Oh my god, it's it's. I got we went one night and I ordered a side salad, Caesar salad. It literally was this big, like yeah. a palm bowl. They wanted to charge me eight dollars for it. Yeah, they no. brought the bill. They brought the bill, and I said, "I'm not paying that." No. Wow. I'm like eight dollars. I'm like I'd pay two. Mm. <laughs> I'm like I'm not yeah. paying. Okay, I'll take it off. I said, "Yeah, you will." <laughs> Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Sorry. We're just going to look at the browser, so that's fine. Okay, share screen. All right. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I just stream. Okay, here we go. Let me make sure. Time Can here? to grocery shop. I feel like I used to love going to the grocery store, and now I just kind of dread it. It just feels like a waste of time, even though... We need to eat, and my kids need to eat. Do you love it or hate it? Okay, I'm... She's trying to warm up her audience. Yeah, well, and She's in the same workout outfit that she was apparently, like, super sweaty. She mm. never showers. It seems like she never changes out of her workout clothes. Mm. Yeah. No, but and what, she's using a filter on this story, because a couple of stories later, she looks horrible again. Ah. Uh. Yeah, and my filters don't show up on when I'm looking at stuff in the browser, so we don't know like what she's what she's actually using. Feeling like I need to go to a hormone person again because my energy has been really pretty disgusting. Oh, no. Lately. Yeah, I'll call Ashley. I don't know what's going on. Um but really over the last couple of weeks, I'm feeling like extreme fatigue, I would say. I have a hard time getting up in the morning. Uh, my my ring tells me I'm resting okay. I have, I have a hard time waking up in the morning, and then like I'm it's two o'clock, 
and I'm exhausted. It is taking everything in me to not go lay down right now. It's not that I sh can't lay, I can go lay down, but I, um, I have a question though. If you've been drinking heavily and then you stop drinking, isn't there, isn't, isn't like kind of cutting alcohol out, isn't it relatively dangerous to, um, stop drinking and you can have some side effects of like, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I just was wondering. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. <sighs> oh, hey, Aaron. What hey, up? what up, Aaron? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Play. Um, All right. But I need to talk to you guys about. We can skip through these ones. Are... Okay. All right. Yeah. Skip through Books her books. kind of so they're like. Hair. Okay. Which ones? Yeah. <clears throat> these yeah. ones? Just... Okay. Here. Here yep, we go. Okay. Chatted with Shannon. We decided that this week no we are going to do story. a yep. what the heck do we do as coaches free info group. So um, click this link and you'll just fill it out. Um, just a couple questions on there. Basically, like, where do you live? Are you a coach? Are you working with one? Um, I didn't ask, are you a douchebag? But it should go without saying. What up? Talking about me. Hi. Hi. You know, <laughs> what we're looking for She's very sad, Aaron. She's very upset. She got excluded from a trip and she's yeah. she's well, been and having keep, a whole moment. Keep in mind, it's also interesting to me. They just did that sneak peek a few weeks ago. She has not run them for years. And oh. now she's running them every yeah, day. It's, I, I guarantee you she's going to put people into the same group that DC got kicked out of. Yep. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. So, but they're yep. getting they're getting desperate they're getting desperate um and it's all because of whatever change is coming something's coming in october for sure yep. Yep. i can't i can't that. wait to see i'm what telling it is. you guys need to come to arizona and come crash leadership with me oh my gosh that'd be so funny i'd be i mean i'd be up for it I, I'd, i'm a little scared i'm a little scared to uh it's not ridiculously hot <laughs> then good point very good point come, come uh, is our next bestie who we're gonna lock arms with First. and bestie. crush life together so um, does bestie if, mean like leaving comments and never get a response from the person running the group or you know what what's just so the last time at the beginning when her and Shannon first launched this new we're gonna do this together thing i think she has shared since two people who have signed up to be coaches under her as their besties two people she mm -hmm. Two. It's like you're my bestie, and then that happened the first week, and then nothing. Nothing yeah. else. She stopped talking about it because she hurt her shoulder. <laughs> and then they went to California on vacation, didn't talk about it. Like Shannon was doing all the work. Mm -hmm. Like yep. Ashley is the group project participant that doesn't do the work. Mm. Yep. Pretty accurate. It's gonna we're gonna go live. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week in the group. It's going to be on Facebook. So, anyway, click here. Same group. Oops, music. Sorry. Yeah. We don't need this here, kid. Right. Yep, kid. Kid. Keeps Oops. coming up and up and up, right? Oh. Oops, sorry. There's no music on this one. Um. You needed two parents, four grandparents, eight great grandparents, 16 great grandparents, 32 third Is great grandparents, 64 fourth great grandparents, 128 fifth great grandparents. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Oh yeah, pause this and read this. Okay. Read what read the last. She she thinks she's an anagram eight. And the the one that stuck out to me was the bottom bullet point, the third one. Okay, so um, so this says characteristics people assume about me as an Enneagram 8. On the left, it says what people assume. I'm aggressive. I'm always yelling. I go out of my way to experience conflict. Mm. I wouldn't. I w okay, Ashley. <laughs> what people need to understand. Big difference between aggressive and assertive. Uh, most of the time, I'm just passionate. I don't seek out conflict but i will deal with it head on heck no heck no <laughs> you I, saw it. It. I saw this this morning and i about spit out my coffee i was like yo <laughs> you not... avoid conflict like the plague that is what i would assume just from the stuff i've seen in stories and listened to on your podcast on patreon well, and, and she avoids it by oversharing in her yep. stories 
Yep. yep. Because anybody that comes into her DMs that opposes or has a different opinion of what is happening, yep. she blocks them. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The, wow. Wow. Even though she has said she is not going to block anybody. What uh, any agreement would you assume that she is based on what you've seen uh, of her? From I don't know. I'd have to look. I'd have to look through it again. Yeah. Any Yeah, I'm not into them, but I'm just like I wouldn't have ever said she was an eight. I would have never said she was an eight. No, I know. I know plenty. Like one of my one of my business coaches is an eight, and she's like an actual. She's a mentor. Mm. Um, she is complete opposite of Ashley. Mm. <laughs> like no, yep. Yep. no, no, no. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right. Oops. Oops. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Good rough morning. morning. She drank uh, again. Okay, nice. so I was trying to Google yesterday because remember I said I was so tired, so I was freaking fatigued beyond my mind. Maybe she has Is that mono. What I'm saying beyond my mind. Um, and I wanted to nap basically from like say two o'clock to six o'clock. Alcohol and depression. Mm. I didn't. In my opinion. I didn't have time. Uh, and then come nine o'clock, why? Yeah. Uh, yep. Um, well, the Enneagram stuff is was interesting because it's, from what I understand, the person who came up with it, it's not super science-y based. It's no, of, it's not. It's not. So it's, yeah. I wake until 1230 when I finally took some melatonin. Um, well, I took our Beach Buddies last thing, which has melted and some other things like athene and tell us how you really feel about that because it looks like it tastes <laughs> disgusting. I mean, yeah. I wonder why she took that and not the dream supplement. So she like there was total opportunity for her to shill right here. Yeah. To put a link for dream. Well, yeah. and it's yep. and it's weird, like if and seriously, if your body is screaming out to you that you need a nap, take a nap. Yes. Take a nap. It's okay. Don't try to find a hormone person. Like, what is that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Just... Like, no, you you don't need to rest. Maybe evaluate what you're doing in your life that maybe is stressful. Yeah. yeah. Get hydrated. Stop drinking Energize. Stop. I mean, stop it's drinking not... Takeology. Like, the alcohol. It's yeah. her. I'm telling it's you. Alcohol. She'll, yeah. She keeps describing what she's been feeling and it's like. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Man. Um, so then finally I was able to fall asleep at around one. I was like, what the hell gives, man? I was like counting down until the kids could go to bed so that I could go to bed. I've also noticed recently that I am waking up in the morning. A lot of mornings it feels like acid reflux, mild, Energized. but like still there. And sometimes it's in the night. Um Reflux. Alcohol. Then I'm also not eating enough food. Morning. I'm waking up. Mm. I've got cramping in my stomach, and that happened yesterday. Yeah, she's dehydrated. Oh, I'm not trying to diagnose her. If if you've gone from drinking a lot of alcohol and you've stopped drinking as much, you, there's she she needs to literally up her water and up her salt a little bit. And she needs to go like, to a doctor. She needs to go. To I a went doctor. out. I went out Sunday. And I had one cocktail and two beers mm -hmm. and I woke up Monday and I ate food all day and I'm yeah. like, holy hell, like yeah. I don't drink a lot anymore. And I'm like, I don't like this feeling. And the first thing I did was drink water. Yep. Then I had water with my liquid IV. Yep. And then I ate food. Yeah. <laughs> well, and here, here's my thing. And I, I watched, I watched some of these stories, but I didn't watch all of them. I am feeling just jaded enough to say, oh, wait, they're doing this big push for gut protocol. Yep. You are now going to identify all of these things. That too. Maybe yep. you need to start selling gut protocol again, like last time and not do it. Yep. Which is even more insidious because but she, she said she's, has doing it. she's doing it right now. And she just had Chick-fil-A. Yeah, but again, she just came off this yeah. whole frustrated, upset podcast about being left out. So then she again is making this big push to try to get in with Autumn's like good graces. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Like it's even it's it feels yeah, like it's contest. so many layers deep. <clears throat> yeah, alcohol, under eating, 
stress, not sleeping, yeah. all of that can cause acid reflux. Yeah. And even, and additionally, um, the cramping and stuff, She before she was eating meat a lot. She was eating meat and no, basically no carbs and no vegetable, and no, no fruit, uh, not a lot of fruit. So it's like, you need to up your potassium somehow. I don't know where you're going to get it, but it's like, please, please eat, please eat some fruit. Please, please eat yeah. some fruit. Ugh. Yesterday and it happens. It happened one time last week. I was like, I don't know. You see, sure I I... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Let me let me rewind it. <laughs> Let's see. I've all um, reflux. Then I'm also noticing, like this morning, I'm waking up. I've got cramping in my stomach, and that happened yesterday. Hi, cat. And it happens. It happened one time last week. I was like, I don't know what's going on. Did I eat something that I shouldn't have yesterday? Um, but. So I then I Google and I'm like, what are symptoms of, of leaky gut? And none of those things are symptoms of oh, leaky gut. So is that a thing? Is leaky, leaky gut, gut medical- is not an actual <laughs> medical thing. It is not oh. a thing. Our guts, okay, ready? Some science time. Yeah. Are supposed to have be able things are supposed to be able to move through the, the intestinal lining wall. They're supposed to be permeable. It's not a thing. <laughs> It is not a recognized medical diagnosis unless you are seeing someone like Mark Hyman, who is or Autumn Calabrese. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's not a thing. If somebody tells you you have leaky gut, find another practitioner. Mm. Yep. It's not a thing. <laughs> oh, Celeste, I'm sorry. Raina was your coach. Oh. oh. So then I tried to like type in, you know, cramping and um, heartburn and fatigue uh alcohol but it, i couldn't yeah. figure it out so anyway i made an appointment with um <laughs> <What>? actually, <laughs> specialist today and i'm gonna so i don't have a little thing here this is why i'm gonna get blocked <laughs> what do you Again. think it would be instagram world diagnose me i my 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 last uh, burner account is gonna get blocked by her today because i put in there alcohol big yeah. letters with a bunch of exclamation yeah. points. But it's even more manipulative because she's warming up people for the gut protocol yep. group or Facebook group because she's laid out this foundation that she's doing, she's having all these problems and then she's going to find a solution. Then she already has the collection of names here that she's going to follow up yep. with. Yep, and she's trying to get that interaction. Yep. And and we need to keep, y'all keep, I can't watch her anymore because I'm totally blocked. Keep an eye on this because she's going to start making medical claims mm. about yep. the gut protocol, curing this or solving these issues for her when she can't do that. Yep. So just be aware. Yep. Keep an eye out. What the hell's going on? I love it when the internet diagnoses me. But, um... <laughs> I love it when a doctor diagnoses you. I feel like I'm wondering, could it be because I was having gluten when I was in Portland and that like hosed me over? That was two. Or, no, that was two that was ago? two weeks ago. Several weeks. It was two weeks ago. And if you truly, I mean, I, I know people have their celiac is actually a diagnosis. They have an intolerance where it's extremely painful to eat gluten if you have an intolerance that's one thing too if you can just i mean i don't know i, I don't know i i just i would just love for her to go to a doctor and mm-hmm. get and get some testing done because i don't know it feels so manipulative she she said that she has had testing done and she does have a gluten intolerance okay and she's that's been gluten free for a while okay all right but well, that's fair. she so she doesn't eat it a lot but it's a very insignificant hmm. reaction that she has to it. And she likes to overplay it. Okay. Shocker. Um, I do have a little bit of brain fog, not severe, but something's up. Something is up for sure. And it just started happening like uh, two weeks ago, maybe. <laughs> and then really over the weekend. And I mean, she How sounds congested. She's been on a binge. She oh. went on an alcohol binge this weekend. <clears throat> Plus, how can she say it's been like the last two weeks? She has been complaining about this crap for months. Months. Yeah. Months. Yep. Since February. Yeah. Since the initial push for gut. Go- go- yep. <laughs> wow. I. You know what? I would love. And, and again, I think like 
okay, so I'll, TMI overshare. I was in and out of the emergency room. I have some stuff that I struggle with. And I ended up working with a registered dietitian along with getting medication from a doctor for my like my stomach issues that I'm having. But working with a registered dietitian alleviated a lot of things. Not enough that I don't need the medication, but it helped a lot. And I'm I'm just wondering if she ever worked like toss out the Shakeology, toss out the Energize, toss out all the other the crap and work with someone like a registered dietitian and see if that would dynamically at least improve your so life. So she, I can't remember the name of the girl now, but she did work with a dietitian that she found on Instagram. She actually ended up stealing some of her content oh. to use in her program. Wow. Um, she'll bring her up every once in a while, but I got to find it. Um, but now this dietitian pushes, pushes the glucose monitoring thing. You have to have your glucose even throughout the day. Again, here's a little science people. Your glucose is going to go up and down yeah. all day. The issue becomes when it goes up and it either stays up or it goes up and it drops way down. And that yeah. is if you're a type 1 or type 2 diabetic. If you are not, there is zero reason for you to be monitoring your glucose. Yeah. Rant over. Yeah. Um, but she that's why every once in a while you will see her talking about uh, protein. What is it? Protein, veg, fiber, mm. and healthy fat. When she talks about that stuff, that is what this other dietitian that she had worked with taught her. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's I had a, I had a dietitian taught me. It's okay. I like don't you can, it, you can, like if you're it. worried about and you know the spikes and the falls. That's when we have our energy crashes in the day. If you are generally concerned about that, have a protein, have a carb, have a fat, have a balanced plate. Yeah. Like That's don't good. just eat straight carbs, have some protein with it. Like yeah. I had a, I had a donut and yogurt this morning before my workout. Yeah. It's that simple. You don't have to wear the CGMs and okay. Well, sorry. And the, other one, the, amount, <laughs> the amount of supplements that she takes. Um, so, and here's the interesting thing. How do you know which thing it is? Because this is my big thing with um, like, let's say 21 day fix. Okay. So I started 21 day fix. I changed my, the food I'm eating. I started exercising. I'm drinking Shakeology. I'm doing all of these different things. Who's to say what it was that actually made the difference. Yep. And so it's kind of the same thing where well, she is adding so many things. She's probably, I, she, ha, she doesn't show first thing and last thing that often, but if she's doing that, I don't think she's taking them consistently. Energize, Shakeology. She has a ton of her own supplements that she shows that, you know, that, that she's an affiliate for. You're taking too many things, hmm. taking too many things and then mixing it with alcohol. Oh. And edibles. <clears throat> yep. and edibles. Yeah. And you're overtired too. So yeah. Like when I, when I had brain fog, it was from under eating. Hmm. Yep. That, that Very was, that was my brain. And for the longest time, I thought it was a hormone thing. I thought it was this, oh. it was under eating. Like I'm in, I have to go. I actually have to go to my endocrinologist and get tested because I had a hysterectomy five years ago. So I need to go double check and make sure I'm still good. Um, but that was my brain fog was, it was under eating. That's a cause yeah. of brain fog. Alcohol, yeah. brain fog, it, autoimmune disorder, brain fog. She does not have one, but she might, but she doesn't go to a doctor to go get tested. Yeah. Yep. Yesterday was the fatigue. I didn't really feel super tired hmm. over the last week, I don't think. Anyway, whatever. And I'm like dependent on caffeine. I got to go get, I got to go make a matcha latte. I got to do it. I got to do it. I didn't over consume caffeine yesterday. All I had was a matcha because I didn't want to do that. You know, I don't want to like, like, I know something's going on with my body. I just got to figure Ah, uh, repeat after me. I'm going to write, dance, cook, post, share, play, etc. Because that feels right to me. People could like it, love it, hate it, or not care. But I'm going to create and show up regardless. My insides are good enough to show no matter what they look like on the outside. Uh, no, I'm, we're not, I think she's missing the point of the, some of the critique. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Harbor mine. Oh, I spent, I spent a year in and out of the hospital going to the ER mm. a year. And at the same time I was, um, severely restricting my food and following the beach body programs. 
and I had had ablation this September before I started having the issues. So I wasn't having a, I didn't, I didn't have a cycle. I had a cycle. I just didn't have a period. Um, but I think even if I would have my, it would have been gone. Mm. Like I wouldn't have had one. Yeah. yeah. Best yeah. thing I ever did. Mm. <laughs> Best thing. Yeah. What? I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. I was feeling tired and maybe I was going to take a little nap before my day started, but then I laid down and I got energy. So now I'm going to go get my workout in. I'm going to also um, I do it right now. Probably. I think what I'll do is go live in the sneak peek. You know, peek I want to join the curtains that. of what I do as a wellness coach. Um, <laughs> nothing. I do nothing. Wait, 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 I think wait, wait, would make wait, wait, a good one. Okay. I'm hiding the screen real quick. I'm going to try to get in. Hold on. Who? Do you have another email account you can use? Sure do. The fascinating <laughs> thing to me, though, is that she was like dissing beach body. Um, all it was all body positive, badass. I know how to help you eat. I know how to help you do all of these things. Corporate got mad at me, so I scrubbed beach body from my from my stuff. Well, now I've scrubbed body positive, badass from all my stuff, and I'm beach body twenty four seven. I just, I don't understand how she, so many bad things to say about Beachbody and the company for such a long time. She is still with Beachbody. Emma is not. Yep. Like she got, she was going to, she was forced out. It's like, how is Ashley, because Ashley was making money. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it's just... It's crazy to me um, how how much she flip flops on everything. It's it's really hard to know what she's going to do. And like I talked about, I don't remember with someone. I felt guilty. Like if I sold the gut protocol to someone, come do this with me, and then I sold it to all of these people, I would have to do it because I would I feel so guilty. I want to know if, because when she was promoting that the first time, guaranteed. I will guarantee you a refund because I will pay you the money. How did she not get busted for that? I don't like know. How, okay. how, how, how? Because corporate doesn't care. We'll see you, uh, bye. Your screenshot, your, your pauses, DC, are just every time. <laughs> I'm getting a call from China. I'm pretty confident this would be a fun scam call. Yes. Scammer payback. X speech body edition. Uh, <laughs> see. If you want to join, I think I'll probably do that while I'm drinking my pre. So if you want to join um, the group and learn about what I do, see if maybe it's something that you want to do too. Did you talk about talking? Yeah. She just what? talked about caffeine and how she doesn't want to be dependent on caffeine and so she's not going to drink much. Yeah. Go get my she's water. had matcha and now she's drinking energized today. Yep. Ugh. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, it's leg day today. So I had my matcha okay. with... I got to go pee. Okay. Keep watching. But if exercises come up, pause and go back to them when I get back. Okay. <laughs> oh, All right. Okay. That's horrible. Yes. Okay. Reform. All right. I had Shakeology with a little bit of extra protein powder, some carrots, cashew milk, banana, and some chia seeds. And now pre-workout with some creatine. Creatine? Creatine? So scooper of creatine. And then I've been doing like a half scoop of the lemon, half scoop of the strawberry lemonade pre, and it's perfection. Because I love the tart tanginess of this lemon. Not just. Um, but I like a little extra, oh, you know, of the strawberry lemonade. So that's what else I'm going to do. I'm going to add in some cocktail. We're out of the powder. I was just going to open these. What kind of cocktail is this? She just took a huge two scoops of Energize, and then she's adding an adrenal 
something or other. And creatine. Now and she's creatine. Dehydrated. She okay. Creatine's why she's dehydrated. Cre okay, creatine is the only supplement I will actually recommend that everybody and their mother picks. Everyone. Yeah. Creatine monohydrate. It's so well studied. Um, it is. Adrenal fatigue, just like leaky gut, not a thing. Also yeah. not a... So these adrenal supplements are... Um, are targeting people who think they have adrenal fatigue, but you really don't. You really just probably need to eat food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's hey, it. Yeah. I got diagnosed with that and just like, um, hey, live chat, just a reminder. I know we were talking about specifically um, like therapy, going to therapy, issues like that. I don't want us to like comment on like diagnoses or stuff that would come up when the, the, um, I just, I just want to be careful about that. I mean, it's a, it's a, I think it's a kind question. I just want to reiterate that stance that I don't want to um, speculate on diagnoses if that's possible in the live chat. Hey, Jen, do you want to talk about why creatine? Um, so it helps retain muscles. It helps improve strength. Um, it helps retain, well, lean muscle mass, which is really important. Um, and it helps you recover if you exercise even more, but even if you aren't exercising, it's a good supplement to take, especially for females. Okay. Because as we age, we lose muscle mass mm -hmm. from the time we're 30, you continue to lose muscle mass and this helps prevent that. It doesn't, it's not going to prevent it, but it helps slow it down. Don't you have to drink more water, though, if you're on creatine? Like, it, 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 is there something like, because my question is, if she's taking creatine daily, she's not hydrating correctly, she is drinking a lot, wouldn't that add to the, like, the muscle cramping, the brain fog? Yeah, because what will happen is the creatine will go into your muscles, and then your muscles will suck in the water. Yep. Which is why people think they get, you get, blow, like, you will, you will have water retention when you take it because it's helping draw the water in to repair your muscles. So yes, okay. you do need to make sure you stay hydrated and drink water okay. while taking the supplement. Um, creatine monohydrate is the one you would want to look for. And you okay. can get a big bag for, you know how to buy beach bodies? You get a big bag on Amazon for like 20 bucks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, and you cheaper. only need five, five grams a day. That's it. Um, but it's, it is the one of the most studied and researched supplements out there. Mm. Mm -hmm. and yeah it's it's the only one and i will not i will never tell anybody specific brands because i'm not allowed to do that yeah <laughs> but, but it, and i will always say consult your doctor first before buying okay and talk to them um i have my mom 72 she's 72 years old she lifts with me lifts not lives um <laughs> i had her talk to her doctor and so now her doctor said, okay, she was going to take it anyways. Cause you know, she's my mom, but, <laughs> but, but I made her go to her doctor first and take it. And my dad's taking it now too. Oh, cool. That's, That's awesome. awesome. So check with your doctor first, please. Yeah. And these pills and put them in, but maybe I'll just take it. Out. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Everything's fine. I'll just do this. I'll just do it. I wanted to drink it, but I'm gonna just. Well, how many pulls are you taking? I will. Well, wasn't it like eight? That looks oh. like an insane amount. Cocktail. Oh, oh, she linked it. Yep. No affiliate link. No affiliate Hold link. On. Let me look at. Okay, I'll just do this. I'll just look, look. do it. I wanted to drink it, but. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I'm gonna just... I don't think she took all of them. Look. I do. No, she, oh, six. no, she left some in her hand. She did leave some in her hand. Okay, so did she take four then? It's either, it's probably three or four. Three or okay. four. Yikes. And they're gigantic. But, and they're still in her hand? Okay. Cocktail combines whole food vitamin C. She took, no, she took all of them. Oh. Real sea salt. She just put them all in her mouth. She just yep. took two and then she put all the rest of them in her mouth. Use as directed. What's, uh, Can we see what the serving is? 
Um, eight. Six it's capsules. Eight. Yep, it's six. six. It's, yep, Holy it's six. Sh- yep. That is unnecessary. Wow. That is absolutely unnecessary. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll be fair to her. She took six, and that's the serving size. Okay, good news. I just went live in the group. I did a little. It's some kind of adrenal supplement. I went live in the group telling my story for 15 minutes, and the mic wasn't working. So now I'm good. I'm running with Kim K and Ashton today. You know, I've never taken a Peloton class. I've never been. She is actually promoting Peloton. All right, I found I found the adrenal supplement. Okay, it's <laughs> she's just pissing stuff out. It's four hundred milligrams of vitamin C, which is four hundred and forty percent of your daily value. Wow. There's four hundred and ninety two milligrams of sodium, and then there's three hundred seventy five milligrams of potassium. Oh, so she is getting some potassium. Okay, she, she's getting some. Um, my friends. Vitamin C is water soluble. You just piss it out. <laughs> mm. it, this is expensive pee. Like she would be better off drinking a Gatorade. Right. The other <laughs> thing with her is like, okay, if you calculate yeah. all of those supplements, what percentages are you getting of all of these different things? Because they all have similar ingredients. The amount of dosing that you're getting in some of these things is ridiculous. So there's 60 servings in that bottle. Hi. Hi. Bye. Teenager got home. Um, Six capsules per serving. So there's there's 360 pills in that. Wow. Dang. How expensive is it? Uh, It is 40. The capsules are $40. Thirty-eight dollars. Wow! Damn. And she's buying all Shakeology stuff. She's buying all the Energize. She's buying first thing, last thing. She's buying the gut protocol stuff, and then all she's buying. It. How much money do you think she's spending on supplements every month? A thousand bucks, probably. No, that's crazy. I'm pr- I'm pretty sure that if she's doing the first thing, they have sodium, and I think it has potassium and sodium in it too. Yeah. Well, I also know that for her um, electrolytes, she drinks. Redmond Relight. She doesn't drink like hydrate. She drinks red. She took Redmond Relight with her on the Bora Bora trip. Yeah. She was a competitor thing on her Bora Bora trip. Um, that has a lot of potassium and magnesium in it as well. Wow. Like your body only needs, can only hold on to so much. And there are certain vitamins that you can OD on them. Yep. Yeah. This is, it's dangerous. Yep. This way I tell people and, you know, working with a registered dietitian. Um, she's with Beachbody, Christy. Yep. Um, they generally will not tell you to take a multivitamin. One, your body doesn't absorb all that stuff to begin with. And two, you might not be deficient in one of those things. Yep. You could be overdoing it. So that's why you just like, go see your doctor get something specific, get specific for you. Like I know exactly what I have to take. And that's for me. Mm-hmm. Like what I take is not going to work for Amy. What I take is not going to work for these days. Not yep. we're totally different. That's why these supplements are just, they make me mad. Yeah. You know, Shakeology. Yeah. Hey, I gotta say it is a uh, hundred. Let me end this workout real quick. I think it's, if I'm just going to say this, if you had a public platform, why would you ever work out with your Peloton? Uh, if you have a completely dedicated beach body Instagram account, I don't, I don't get that I, from a sales perspective. I, I don't get that at all. Yeah. Unless she's trying to say, I choose all the best. I choose Peloton for running and then everything else is beach body. I don't know if she's being that sophisticated with her, her marketing strategy, but I just don't, it just, at, at its face, it seems a sl- like a slap to Carl yep. and to Beachbody to do that. I completely agree. Mm. And this summer here hasn't been disrespectful. We've barely, I think we don't even, we haven't even had one 120 degree day this year. Last year we had yeah. like 10. Wow. <laughs> like we're having a hot September, but yep. this summer we've gotten more rain. <laughs> like this summer's actually been really decent. 
<laughs> and you mm. live in Arizona. Yes, I'm in Arizona. Like that's kind of what you expect. Yeah. When you live in Arizona. Yeah. Yep. Yep. What is it right now? What's the temp? 100 degrees out. Yesterday it was 110. And you're this inside summer. in the AC. Okay, got it. Has been disgusting. I guess that's every summer no, in Arizona. No, it hasn't. Um, but I wasn't sure if this investment was going to be worth it, right? Because it's like, I didn't know how much I was paying for the brand versus just a treadmill. I have to say this is probably my favorite purchase of 2022. I can't remember when I bought the Uller, which is the mattress topper cooler thing. And if that was this year, that probably trumps this or they're tied. But if you are wondering if the Peloton tread is worth it, the answer is a resounding yes. I actually walk on it way more than I run. Um, but. Is that it? That was anticlimactic. Hold on, let me refresh. But let's, you know, let's just go ahead and shill. A competitor yep carl would be pissed if he saw this i mean am i gonna tweet this maybe i don't know oh ashley she's never talked that highly about the mix bike she I, mean, the mix. I mean her her pedals were broken forever <laughs> oh my god she's talked about how wobbly it was like she she's not a she's not a fan no she's i don't even know what to say just trying to keep an eye on oh i got blocked i got blocked <laughs> oh, you did yep yep i couldn't get in with my uh that's hilarious um oh but oh no i'm still good hey um, um someone i'm not gonna mention any names send me a dm if you're open to doing something that we were just talking about send me a dm on instagram and if you can, then I will send you the file to do some fun downloading stuff so you don't have to waste your time. Just let me know in my DMs. Okay. So I think... do we? That was her last story. I'm still not blocked yet, so... Okay. Do we know where she um, has been landing as far as um, placement? Is she yeah. in the top... Whatever? She was top 50, I wasn't she? I, I think know. she was. I think she was getting either in the top fifty or getting close to top fifty. The wow. weird thing that they do though throughout the year is that they put out their lists, but they put them out by region. Hmm. Oh, so maybe she isn't even in the top fifty. And so, but then they don't tell you. Like then, I don't know why they do that. Um, very strategic, but so I don't know where she is overall, but. Honestly, she probably will get back up in at least the top 50. Yeah, um, and the top 200 are going to be here in a month. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, I'm, it, just, I'm just glad they're 40 minutes away from me. So. Is it the Beachbody Coach 411 that lists all the stuff or no? Sometimes, sometimes that one will. Um, but I don't know that they have been great about... about um, putting out their lists, a lot of the time what we end up doing is like finding someone who has posted where they are in that region and they like post the stat, the leaderboard or whatever. Okay. Um, Maybe I'm, let me try to do one more search and see if I can pull it up. It would be the Facebook page that they put it in. Okay. Yeah, and I'm not seeing anything. Um, yeah, I don't see anything either. Yeah, the last time I seen any they posted was in January. Mm. Um, as far as rankings. But yeah, but also I don't have Facebook on my phone, so I can't. Yeah, yeah I'm, uh, I'm. Let's see. I'm on the TBB, the Team Beach Body Coach four one one. Yeah, that's what I'm on too. But I'm not seeing anything. A lot of the time, you have to find someone. Um, Wait, didn't she say she was going to do a leg day workout and then she went on the treadmill instead? Oh, yeah. I mean, she's using her legs on the treadmill. Maybe that. Maybe that's what she meant. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. my God. Well, I, I just saw Joel and she like she's she's supposed to be doing lift more right now. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like she's doing any of it. Oh, is that a medical claim about gut yep, protocol? It sure is. Yep, sure is. Can't do that. 
Yeah, so y'all, if y'all want to know how easy it is to download, what is, the, what is the disclaimer that they have at the bottom? Because uh, we did put one at the bottom of that one. Uh, oh, let's right see. there. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Go back. You want wieldy? Okay. Oh, they don't even have it across the entire thing. It's just at the end. It's at the very end. Nikki's right extraordinary results for her <laughs> unique skin condition are not typical and were achieved after four weeks of healthy eating and fit in a fitness program. Nikki is an independent team beach body coach. So let me just show everybody in the live chat something real quick. I'm going to hide this so that you don't <clears> see <throat> something. Okay. Um, Google. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So if y'all are trying to grab content for us, maybe you're not. But if you ever do and you don't want to, you don't you don't have to download stuff. So let's say we take this. Well, if this fails, then I'm gonna be embarrassed. But you copy and paste the link, and you can just download the video. So yeah. that's SnapSave.app. There's other ones out there as well, but. Um, I use facebookdown.net sometimes, but if you're trying to get stuff for people, you can do that. And if you need to know how to do private videos in Facebook, you can send me a DM on Instagram. So that's okay. awesome. Yeah. Cause I think that's one of the, the interesting things is we are getting blocked by more and more people. Yep. Um, and so in order to continue to share some of this, we need people to that are willing to send us content to look at and to to review especially my my thing I would love would be more team calls yeah. um, because to show what actually happens in these teams yeah um is really important I think I've got a few yeah. actually I've got a few calls maybe while I'm still laid up in bed for a while I'll so my current videos will be from my bed Love it. Love to see it. <laughs> Bionic Amy edition. That's right. Oh, uh, yes. Tanya's abs are back. How? <laughs> is she is she using a a um like a Photoshop like maybe not Photoshop? Is she using an app to do that, or is she like putting makeup on, or like what? How the is that thing? Is she was with um she was with Emily this weekend. Emily um. Emily uses a NARS, that brand, Contour mm. Stick, to do her her apps and her before and afters. She did a whole training for a team and taught them how to do it. <gasps> what? Do you have that still or did you, did you just watch it one time? No. Uh, yeah. Just saw it. Oh. I saw it, but I don't have it still. Man, that would be wild. That is wild. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I'm looking at her stories right now. And when she stands at her counter hunched over, you like you can't see what her her abs look like so she doesn't stand up you can't see them then before the workout she takes the picture with her shorts all the way up over her belly button and then afterwards she like sucks it in and yeah and then the four people it's like there's no reason Nobody and they're traveling that. oh her and letty are traveling again I'm trying to show yeah. oh the gosh. oh she yeah. doesn't have her normal stuff on there are so it's many you can keep going She eats less than 1,200 yep. So see how she's standing. Yep. Okay. She does hiding, every time. Hiding her stomach. Yep. I don't understand how her back doesn't hurt her all the time. Do you see? Is that a bot? Uh, who? Bang uh, no yep, 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 yep. Thank you. Block. Bye. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, Wait. Good morning. Happy Wednesday, another travel day. Um, it was so nice to be able to pack last night. I mean, and, she like, looks no great. She doesn't have to fake her, like, how, she doesn't have to fake her abs or whatever. Like, she, like, as is, she looks great. I don't. I think she feels a lot of pressure because of the videos and the things that she has been in in the past. Mm. Like, she is the machine. Yeah. And she, like, thrives on that. And she doesn't want to let that go. But you're almost 50. You've had a baby. Like. Yeah. Incredible. I mean, incredible. Stop. 
Yeah. Wait, Celeste, Tanya is starting to follow Letty's eating pattern of oh, no. not enough food. Oh. No worries. But she does go protocol. Letty doesn't. Letty mm. does some, yeah. Man. Um, so, before I travel, I have time to get my workout in. Because once we get to Florida, we hit the ground running. We've got so much to do to set up before the rest of the group arrives tomorrow. So, are they doing a retreat? How much to get ready for? They must be doing a leadership yeah. retreat. Someone said that they are doing a. Vicky said they're doing something with her team in Florida. Yeah, they're probably doing a leadership retreat it, in like Sweetwater or whatever. I'm so excited. We've been planning this for a while, and it just nothing makes me happier. That is celebrating. Hmm? I think it's a hydration booster. It's, oh. okay. it's that um being yeah. the leaders on our team um, and hosting a retreat for them where we can bond, level up, and just have a great time. Right? So her shorts up. Yep. All right, music. Machine strong. See, that's her thing. She is the machine. Hmm. Stupid ball. That's stupid, right? What is the point of doing that? I don't get it. One more thing that you have to purchase from Beach Body. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Stupid combo exercise, and okay. her abs are back. Yep. You can see she's hunched over. Her butts are back. She's sucking it in. You can see it in her neck. Yeah. It's just deceptive deceptive celeste that's not surprising that she's using more than what uh, the dosage recommends that looks like an awful breakfast yeah <laughs> and not any not enough calories for all the work she did and so she has she has the two beach body supplements yep. the digestive enzymes and the optimized but she also has a debloat supplement there wow. isn't that the same thing it's the same thing wow the same thing. Yep. New obsession is instead of wearing foundation is to wear this tinted serum. Oh my gosh, I love it. My girl Emily actually introduced this to my me. My girl Emily. And, Tag and to get she there. always looks like she has the most flawless skin. She has nice, beautiful skin. Oh, uh, that's because she uses filters. <laughs> right? like, are you wearing makeup? And she's like, no, it's just this tinted. You serums. are wearing makeup. It's it's this. It's just it. makeup. Yeah. I use tinted oh moisturizer. God. That's my makeup. Yeah. yeah. The Love thing it. that kills me with her, yeah. she's always traveling. I feel so bad for her son. She's yeah. never yeah. home. Oh, my code drops soon. Yep. Oh, it's there Tula. You go. Tula is a is, no. it, influencers use. They're a huge influencer thing where they like have affiliate links and it, yeah, she's, uh, okay. Here is the actual product. So it's got sunscreen, SPF 30, uh, and it just, it feels really light. Just feels like moisturizer. What I does your face look like without your filters on? Did reach out. Like with this on, we didn't see. She's not showing us the end result of, she's just showing us the product. So I'm just. Nope, I'm and she'll have a filter on when she shows her face again. Yep. You get a code, and uh, good news, they're going to give me a code very soon. No, there's no end product of what it looks like. It's because it's because she doesn't have the code yet. Yeah. And let's be real. The the leadership retreats are not all that. Like, the diamond retreats are not all that. Mm. I'm just going to say it. I've been on, I went on one. And I'm very sad that I missed my daughter's. Birthday. Um, that's not gut protocol approved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she got back on track on Tuesday, yesterday, and today she's already not getting back to it. Y'all ready? Okay. <laughs> she's covering her oh stomach God. again. Which is fine, like, okay. Go. Let's do it for Joel. Oh, One God. For you. One for you. Yeah, that's it. That's all. Is that his mimosa style? Yeah. yeah. So dumb. Just alcohol? Just alcohol. Okay. 
Oh, girl. Okay. I think that's the last one. There you go. Oh, my Lanta. Okay. It's just oh, it. bad. Like, to be that obsessed over sh and like sharing every single thing thinking that it's going to give you clients and that's not what's like the fact that people are still buying this yeah from them is the is the saddest thing to me yeah <laughs> i don't know i mean i don't even know what to say like the more the more stories i watch from beach body one it's more discouraging and two I feel bad for him. I feel bad with this, like, the rat race of trying to keep up with a facade and try to prop up a product that isn't very good. Propping up, you know, the gut protocol stuff and Shakeology and Energize and all this other stuff. And it's like, there's better products out there on the market. This, these are incredibly expensive. Doesn't it feel bad? Like, doesn't it feel bad to, like, lie and say something? And I say that, in my opinion to not really be behind a product because it works but be behind a product because you're getting commission off of it well it's and just they're, they're selling a lifestyle as well this is one of my concerns for them is they are selling this lavish lifestyle they are spending money like nobody's business and beachbody will have zero problem dropping you yeah, yeah. and then what are you going to do what are you going to yeah. do yeah um, it is exhausting. It seems. It certainly seems exhausting just from watching it. Oh, it really is. It is. Man. It is. Oy vey. Well, <laughs> another another eventful podcast and story yeah. review. Yeah. Gosh darn. Well, I don't. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Except I was, we're we're going to do cat one day. Yes especially after this last weekend and her blocking spree. Um, if you're in the live chat and you're watching this, if you got blocked because you've liked someone's comment on cats this week, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Just, yeah. It's ridiculous. Um, and then let me, I want to plan and ask the trainer live. Oh, yeah. So if you guys want to, I'm going to have a link in my IG profile so people can submit questions if they can't make the live. Cool. Um, and I want, and if I, you guys could send, um, I'm <laughs> teenager, um, like stories of coaches doing exercises and you go, what the hell is this? I will yeah. love to go over that. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I saw someone today that I was like, what is like what are they doing yeah oh, well autumn was doing something when at the vacation house with like some kind of arm like extra I, yeah this whole thing and it's like i don't yeah so i posted an upper body core workout in response to that it's this it's on my it's in my feed right now <laughs> and i did it yesterday and my chest is still so sore um, but yeah there's no crazy combinations like that's if you send stuff like that, I can break it down and give you a circuit to do. I will yeah. give workouts in this call. <laughs> like yeah. two well, and let's talk about what Vicki just said, because Kat made comments about, you know, not sitting on your couch and watching TV. Those are the comments. So I'm recovering from a total knee replacement. If she was my coach, I would be seeing this and I would be feeling guilty. I would be feeling so guilty that surely there's something I could be doing. I'm not doing enough um, because I'm feeling shamed for laying in bed. And, yeah. you know, and I'm still seeing, I felt like I had to get back to teaching. I started teaching again after having like a scope done two weeks after I had a knee scope done. Mm. So no Ouch. wonder I'm now at a like total replacement. Yeah, the, the level of guilt and shame that they throw around everything. Do you know what? I've been binging Shit's Creek, and it's amazing. Yeah. Like, and no regrets. Like, I'll do it again. Yeah. You know, so it just is so frustrating to me that they throw so much shame on all of these things, and they yeah. think they're doing it, it being motivating. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's I I got up, got my kid to school, took the dog for a walk. 
went to, I'm, I, I need, I'm a, yes, I'm a trainer. I go see a trainer because I don't want to have to write my own programming. I want to do that for everybody else. Did my conditioning workout for an hour, came here, do this. If I want to sit down on the couch for two hours and Netflix or watch a soap opera, I'm going to do it. Yep. Yeah. It's no. Yeah, absolutely. Megan, absolutely. you're, you're on here. Watch, you're on here listening. <laughs> She's in my group. Rest is important. <laughs> yeah. so important. Yep. Um, someone br- brought up Brianna Jewell. Um, Brianna and Amy had a, a great um, interview together yeah, and, and Shalene Johnson watched it. Yeah, I know. Shalene right? watched it. And so if y'all haven't seen it yet, go to Brianna Jewell's uh, YouTube and you can find Amy and her conversation. It's super insightful and it's, I like watched it in its Yay, entirety. Once Sabrina it, so. is fully enjoying yeah. Oreos today. Heck yeah. Um, so yeah. I, when, when do I go start and get the Oreos? On Sunday? Saturday. On Saturday, I went, I got three things of oreos my re- the reel is still up so if you guys want to go see that the three there's still <laughs> he's going to go get them <laughs> now he's like that sounds i've cool. had three like they've been on the kitchen counter the entire time i didn't put them in the pantry they've been out do you want to come on camera <laughs> yes right <laughs> there's still i don't want them in here thank you there's still combined a full box left i've had three i have a 15 and a half year old a 12 year old and a 45 year old <laughs> love it out for them to eat like people i can't keep in the house to eat all the time if you the more you have food around the less you're actually gonna be on it so. and that's the thing like you're you're vilifying all of this food and then like it, it that's what i want then like yeah. if I tell myself I can't have it, then I'm going to buy it and I'm going to eat all of it in one sitting and feel guilty. Yep. Yeah. 100%. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If you, I do, so I do have a YouTube channel. <laughs> I have one, yeah. one video up publicly. If you want to take, it's about an hour long, I think, but it's broken up into, into two different parts. One is about diet culture and the history of diet culture. And the other half is an introduction to intuitive eating. Cool. And in, in the description, there's a link to a workbook. Oh, awesome. So, so if anybody wants to go over there, and I'm thinking about DC giving you that information so I can start putting these up on there. Um, like I love Brianna Jewell's channel. I just don't have time to do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I will, that's her zone. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I do have that video up. If you guys want to learn about the history of diet culture, and the basics of intuitive eating, that is up there. Cool. I'll get the link and I'll put it in the description after yeah. we're done streaming. So it's easy for replay crew to find it. Or if you're in the live stream and want just to be able to click on it, I will link Jen's video. That's awesome. Yeah. And I'm thinking about doing another, like a free webinar on it again. Oh, cool. Coming up in November. Before That's amazing. The holidays, so that is amazing. Very well, cool. um, I think in, in conclusion, <laughs> Oh, don't join your beach body. And no, um, no. Uh, I don't know. Take some time to enjoy your food. Take some time to rest. Take some time to hydrate. Take some time to eat enough food. Yes. Um, you know, don't villainize going to the doctor. You know, I don't I don't know what else to say. Fine. Don't ask for medical advice in a question box on Instagram. Yep. That's don't click one. on any stickers on any beach body coaches because you're gonna get a hey girl message probably. So Yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah. Be careful and, when they're where they place those. You might accidentally hit one. Yep. Yep. Very yeah. true. Emma, yes, go to therapy. Yes. And go, and go, therapy. And go to therapy. Therapists yep. are incredible. Emma, and you the, missed the beginning. She actually in the podcast talked about possibly going to EDMR therapy, but then she said, I don't know what it is. It's something. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's something. something. I don't know. Yeah. For like three seconds. Yeah. And, and the podcast. The podcast we reviewed is a public one, and I did. Yes. I do have the private one. We may do an unlisted stream at some point. We're 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 interspersing the unlisted ones because I'm trying to see if I'm going to put those public or not. But yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and roll the outro. Thanks everybody for joining us, and we will see you on the next. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye.